Hey YouTube, hey hey lovelies. So um I pretty much don't need to go into a rant as you can tell by the title. This is pretty much how I do my um my, sorry for my voice. I'm sick and my voice is slowly leaving. But this is how I um do my puff on my natural hair. I haven't worn my natural hair in a long time because I've been wearing my wigs. So I just got the urge to wear my natural hair because I missed it but um as you can see I still have two braids up from um wearing my wigs and I'm just gonna take these braids down and we're just gonna get into it taken down I am going to just pretty much comb it out you know so it's um stretched as much as it can get so yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna do now <laughs> combing my hair and this is much um this is much this is how much hair came out combing it and that is probably about a, um like a two weeks worth of not combing my hair so yeah so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to slick get my hair into the bun state so i'm gonna comb it all up as you can see i still have some like of the blonde hair in my hair i'm probably gonna cut that out soon so I'm just go ahead and get it on i actually like that So I know how I want it. So pretty much what I'm going to use is um, I'm going to be using this Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. I've used that for so long, and I don't have. I usually use um um the olive oil. His olive oil, yeah, the Eco Styler Gel olive oil one. But I am completely out, completely out, and I did not know that. I haven't worn my hair. Um, in a long time so I had really no no sense of knowing you know or needing it so I didn't know I was out but all I have is this I don't really like to use on my hair but this is all I have so I'm gonna be using that so now what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much slicking my ooh, a lot came out slicking my hair up into a um a puff I'm doing is I'm putting I'm using the Shea Moisture Curling Style Milk kind of to like give it some um some movement to it so I can mold shape it better because it was a little dry so just putting some of this on with <sighs> So 
So yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of try to brush it into where I want it to be. And I don't want it, I mean, I don't need it to be super, super slick and neat and stuff like that. That's, you know, it's fine if it's not, but you know, I just want to make sure kind of up of where I want it and I, I have a mirror over here so if I look over here it's because I'm looking in my mirror so I have and I kind of want to I'm going to leave my baby hairs out when I get it up so I kind of have it where I want it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my gel just I'm not going to take a lot and I'm just going to rub it around my hands and I'm just going to kind of put it around the perimeter the edges of my hair just so it could kind of like slick down a little bit more I don't want it super slick but I do want it to be neat you know and not too too frizzy I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of brush it um, brush around So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm pretty much, I'm going to take two um, two scrunchies that I have that have gotten stretched out as you can see, like you can see the stuff from the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scrunchie and I'm actually going to tie them together to where it, I can, um, I don't want to put it in a ponytail and wrap it, I want to just wrap it around the um, around my edges and then tie it or pull it together so what I'm gonna do with that is take these two hopefully it doesn't break on me but I'm gonna take these put it together like this put that through there and then tie it like that so now as you can see it may not go around all the way is to it's a little bit too short. I'm actually gonna run and get another scrunchie so I can tie it because I don't know where um, my long ones are. So I'm just gonna makeshift one. So I'm gonna run and get another one really fast. Okay, I got another scrunchie. Hopefully it works because this one's not as stretched out as the other one, but hopefully it works. So I'm just gonna pretty much do the same thing that I did to the first one. Take it in there and pull it. So hopefully that's long enough. And it is so. Pretty much going to comb this up again. I mean not comb but brush. And I'm going to take it. Start from the back. Take it around my forehead. Make sure it's up above my ear, and I'm just gonna start at the back, and I'm just gonna push it up, cause I because I want my my puff to be more towards the front. I'm gonna start from the back and push it up. gonna start now I'm gonna start just tightening it from here so I'm just pulling it pulling it on both 
convenience as such until I can reach the back. And now what I'm gonna do, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm gonna tie it. Do, so I just basically tie it in a knot and as you can see so it's not really scrunching my hair but holding it to tell you all um, I was gonna finger coil it but um, because I actually have somewhere to be I just thought about that I won't have time to finger coil all of it so what I did was I kind of just like so it's not too straight. I um, spritzed it with some water. I put some leave-in in. And then I followed up with the um, Shea Moisture Curl Style Milk. And what I'm going to do now is I'm pretty much just, just going to take some of my hair out on the side. And I still have some product on my hand, so I'm just gonna like take a little bit of my gel and I'm just gonna put it on the edges and I'm going to pretty much just pretty much do that and I'm gonna do the same thing the other side and I'm gonna just take my scarf tie it around the edge of my hair so that it can lay down if I can get it in there And then I'm done with that and I'm just going to get dressed and I guess I'll show you all when it's done. Hi you guys, so this is the final look. Um, yeah, so I didn't decide to do the um, free and gold because I had to be somewhere. So I just decided to go with the puff. And I mean I actually like how it turned out with it. So this is the final look.